Matthew Kenny, and you're watching American Patriots Press. Our topic today focuses on a pressing matter that is near and dear to my heart and has been neglected in our country uh, far too long. The development and training of well-equipped men and the spiritual, to be the spiritual leaders of their home. With us today to bring about real change and help turn around the decline of the fabric of the family and strengthening it by pointing fathers toward Christ and his instruction for leadership with his new book, Rise Up, is Dr. Robert Otto. Dr. Otto, welcome to the Eagle's Nest. It's good We're to so, be we, Thank you very much. Do you have both of us on here? I do. Excellent. We are so very moved about this topic and this subject. And uh, why don't you give us a little background on yourself, for starters? Sure. Shannon and I have been married for 18 years. We have three children. Uh, Charles and Josh and Hinge are all teenagers. We homeschool our three children in South Florida. I was a graduate of West Point, and I served many years in the infantry as an officer. I'm an airborne ranger. I have a PhD in family therapy, and I work at a counseling center down here in South Florida. Uh, we also work with military families around the country as part of Campus Crusade for Christ Military Ministry, and have the opportunity to speak at marriage conferences for military families. And this book really touches on a topic that I'm passionate about, which is just helping guys to learn how to be the spiritual leaders in their homes. Fantastic. Um, tell the folks in a nutshell the meat of the matter. Just what is this book about? I think most guys know they need to do something as a spiritual leader in their homes. They just don't know where to start because most of us haven't had a good example of that. And if we didn't see it in our fathers, we haven't seen our friends do it well, then how do we learn how to do that well? I think at the crux of it, if we will open up God's Word and read it with our families, we will see God work in our homes. And this book is a journey for men to walk through to learn exactly how to do that and why it's important. And to watch God as he honors his word. And he says, you know, my word does not go out and return without accomplishing its purpose. And, and at the core, rise up is for dads to learn how that fits into their plan for a home. Amen. Um, what drove you to the point where you said, hey, I'm the guy, I'm the one who's supposed to write this book. Okay, well, I can't take any credit for that. Uh, we were on vacation in Georgia, and a friend sat down with my three kids and his, actually my two kids, we had one in a, in a playpen at the time, and his three kids. So we had five kids under the age of five, and he sat them down on the floor and opened his Bible and he just started reading to them. And I thought, that's amazing, they're, they're really interested, they're, they're sitting there, this is not a picture book, this was his Bible. And my wife prayed for me for six months, and then asked me, you know, Rob, would you do that at the dinner table for us? And I said, all right, well, I'll give it a shot. And it was kind of a dry time in my own walk with the Lord, and God really used that to stretch me and to pull me along. And it was such a powerful influence in my life. It became the highlight of the next 10 years of my life, in fact. And it's, it's the best part of my day. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's really neat. And I had a friend in Colorado who said, I know I need to do something like that, but I don't know where to start. And I can't come and sit at your dining room table where you read. Mm -hmm. Can you write something down so I can read it and, and know at least what it looks like in your house so I can understand how I can maybe try in my house too? And he said, by the way, I'm not the only guy who probably thinks about these things and needs to do them better. Um, maybe you'd put it down on paper so a few other guys could see it too. And he prayed for me and challenged me for four years. And this book is, uh, is a product of that. And, and it's amazing after... After Shannon, six months of praying for me and, and my friend Chuck nudging and encouraging and praying for me for four and a half years, uh, the book was really two months to write. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, and it was an amazing journey. Answered prayers. Yeah, it is. Um, is this just for men to go off on their own, like on sabbatical, or is there for family participation involved? For the book or for the, the, for the, the, for the instructions uh, for men to, to read it? Is, right. it, is it just they're going to take it, go learn something and come back? Or is the family participating in it the whole time? Right. The book is set up with questions at the end of each chapter for a small group to use if guys want to use it in their small group. It's written for men to take by themselves and be able to read it and say, this applies to me individually. It's also uh, it, it's written for single moms who don't have a dad around to understand how they can step in. Primarily the audience, and each one of those groups will relate to, primarily the audience of this is men who want to learn how to lead their families. Uh, certainly is a conversation that will happen with their wife. I know you've been reading it, yes. and your wife has been reading it, and the two of you talk about it. You know, this is my journey as a man, but it involved my wife Shannon, and the conversations that we had, and the encouragement that she was to me in that process. Uh, so it certainly involves the whole family, but the book was written 
for a man to look at what's my role as a man. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, are you first targeting Christian men, secular, both? Like when you first thought of it, who came to mind first? My first thought was uh, it, it came out of a Sunday school class. I had 50 people in there, and I said, "All right, raise your hand if you saw your dad as a good example of a spiritual leader in your home." And four hands went up. And I thought that meant there are 46 of us who are trying to figure this out on our own. And that's in the church. And the target audience really was looking at those men. Uh, men who are Christians. Men who know they need to do something more. And just haven't taken that first step for whatever reason. With that said, this book has impacted some men who don't know the Lord. And challenged them as well. Uh, neighbors, friends who have seen what happens when their kids come over and, and join us week after week after week at our family devotions. And it's stretched and challenged them as well. And you know, some of the great compliments when somebody says, you, know, you actually live out what you say you believe. Yeah, that's my goal. And may that be true in your house too. And that guy gets stretched in this direction. Awesome. How do you uh, encourage men through the book to succeed at being the spiritual leader of their family? I think if you see it as bigger than just you, it's a generational impact. My dad did not grow up in a Christian home. My family came to know the Lord one after the next after the next when I was about 13. And I saw my dad try real hard to make some steps in this direction. And I, as a kid, didn't make it easy on him. <laughs> I'm sure I was more interested in going out and playing soccer with my buddy than I was sitting at the dinner table or lunch table talking about you know what we just heard in church. And, but I'll tell you, the seeds that he planted made it easier for me today. Hmm. So I'm going to pick it up and go with it. And I'm not going to be perfect at it, but it will be easier for my children, hopefully, because I strive at it today. And so if guys can see it as a, as a generational impact, and where do they fit? How do they take it from the last generation? What do they receive? What can they start from there and then move forward with? And where are their kids going to be and their grandkids down the road? Yeah, and it's not going to be easy, but you should all be excited about the challenge. Yeah, and I think that's what Stu Weber was talking about in the foreword when he talked about his grandfather, who was just a coal miner, mm -hmm. who had a passion for God's Word and read it. And then his dad, just an ordinary guy, picked that up and had a passion for God's Word and read it. And then Stu and his you know, siblings, same thing. And here they've got fourth generation just loving the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it's just because that one man said it's going to start with me. The anchor man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm loving it. Do you have any Rise Up subgroups planned or outreach programs to reach more and more men? Subgroups like uh, small group Bible studies, I'm not going to organize anything like that. Um, this is hopefully a tool that guys can take in their small groups that are already going. Mm -hmm. um, getting something like that rolling would be bigger than I could do by myself. But God can start that, I'm sure, if he's right. interested in right. pushing that. And what I'm thinking is just that you might... Train a couple of people might come to you. Train two of them, and then then just branch off. If God opens that door, I would love to. Yeah. I would love to. I would absolutely love to. We're looking at doing some speaking around the country at uh, men's Bible studies and family conferences and things like that, and and taking this information and, and this perspective for guys. And if it picks up from there and spreads out, great. Uh, yeah, which is a good segue into my next question: Is how do you plan on marketing this and reaching as many people as possible? Sure. I, I, I'd love to touch base, and I am touching base with pastors around the country, with pastors training conferences, with the, the network we have through Military Ministry Campus Crusade. Um, we'll be online with uh, riseupdad.com, and people can find out more information there and order books there. Uh, we'll also be on the Campus Crusade website, their bookstore online, and the Military Ministry online bookstore. And um, eventually we'll be on Amazon.com and, and Christian bookstores around the country. So